My name is James Jenkins, the 14th, and I'm coming to you live today to tell you that the Lord has been watching you motherfuckers not putting nothing in the contribution box. Sister Jenkins, please point the person out who you didn't put nothing in the contribution box today. It's the reason why our toilet in the church is not working. Because no one has been putting nothing in the box. And you got to pay to hear about the Lord nowadays. And he gave me the word to give it to you. You motherfuckers better start putting something in the contribution box. So me and Sister Jenkins can continue to ride these on that bitch. Ain't that a bitch? Yo, I'm now listening to All One Radio to Talk Show Podcast Station. This is Sister Talk. And I am your host, Sister Such and Such. An open minded and raw character who says exactly what's on my mind. Meanwhile, telling the truth about it all. It is it is news, information, lifestyle, and well my opinions. Leaving no subject untouched. Welcome to Sister Talk. And I am your host, Sister Such and Such. Well, hey, y'all. Well, how y'all doing? It's... It's Friday, y'all. It's, it's, well, it's shit show Friday. How about that? Now, it's supposed to be a good Friday, but today on On One Radio, this is shit show Friday. And, well, I got my niece in here with me uh, again. This, yo, yo, say hi to the good peoples. Hey, good people. Happy Friday. Yes. Now, I did say it's shit show Friday. And for those of you who follow me on the regular Welcome back, and I'm so glad to have you here. And all the new ones, welcome. Mm -hmm. I hope you got a stomach for this type of conversation. So welcome, and I hope you return. And don't forget to support old sister such and such and sister talk. Mm -hmm. So, yo, yo, you, you young, what's, what's some of the shit show that's been going on out there? Well, I know you didn't hear the waka faka. The rapper. Yeah, the flaming boy. That, that flaming yeah. boy. Waka wow. Flocka. I'm the heart of being a pain. Waka Flocka Flame. Yes. Him. Yes. The Anywho. dread dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anywho, something about his mother, the manager, his mother, his manager, Debbie. Oh, Dale. Yeah. I hope. What's going on with Odell? Oh, her's supposed to be stealing. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't know what she's stealing, but she's supposed to be stealing. No, honey. Okay, well, I did come across a couple of articles on that. I was wondering about that myself, cause you know I watched it. I watched that show that uh, was it Growing Up Hip Hop? Yeah. I like the show. I like the show. You you learn some interesting things about people. Yeah. But um, yeah, Dale. She well. Yeah, she was. She was OJ the Juice Man's manager, wasn't she? Yeah. I think so. Well, yeah, because they were saying something about him going on a podcast show and was talking about, you know, I guess what had went down. Yeah. So I guess he gave him the rundown of what had taken place, you know, his truth. Okay. So this this him what happened. Now this is what this is what Deborah Anthony everybody called Deb or Miss Deb. Now, she is, she has Miss Zay Entertainment. And OJ, he went on a podcast and alleged, uh, you know, basically stating his truth about the events that had led to his departure about him not getting paid. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was necessarily asking for no money, but I think he was just letting it known, you know, be known that he didn't get paid and well, they came to him with um, with buying out of his contract. 
But I think it was the interesting thing is how apparently they came to you know to him with that, mm -hmm. and well, he pre they pretty much told him that he to buy out he was gonna have to give up you know his hard work and the money that came from it. Wait, so whatever money he have made with that company, for him to be able to leave that country. They would have to own everything that he done made. That's what it sounded like. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, I know that's got to be some hard shit. You done, you done worked and you done slaved and then you're not getting done right. And then to get out of it, they still want more from you. Right. That's so. Crazy. Okay, so him not getting paid, that's the stolen money right there. Okay. Now, we know Deb is Walker's mama. Mm -hmm. And I guess from him going on to do this podcast and putting it out there, um, that I think he Walker wanted to defend his mama. Right. Well, I mean, most, you know, well, most I folks is going to defend their mama. But it's just interesting because his clapback, I don't know to say it was a defend or a clap back. I just don't know. Because the video that, that Walker did in February, which was at best laughable. Because he even laughed in his own video, you know, when he was sitting there saying those things about, you know, not wanting no smoke and this, that, and the other. Well, I noticed that he have deleted all his mother pictures on his Instagram and Tammy, his wife, she no longer have any pictures of their death. Oh, that's interesting. Right. And I went all the way back from two nineteen uh two thousand nineteen. Oh yeah, you went back a pretty good while there. And yes. No pictures, huh? No pictures of nothing. Well, I guess sometimes you got to separate yourself sometimes. And especially when it comes to business, you don't want your business dealings, you know, always tied into Family, you would like it to be, but sometimes you can't. But see, here's the interesting thing about this. That boy, old Jada Juiceman, that boy wasn't playing. Oh, really? I found his video. Now, this was, you know, from Instagram, because this is where they beef was on Instagram about okay. this. They was going back and forth. Okay. But this boy claps back, and he claps back with some... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going I'm to let everybody hear this video. Yeah. Let you hear it for yourselves, and y'all tell me what you think. The boo that, you a ho ho, man, and you ain't on no gangster. Never seen you do nothing gangster. Sad. You a ho, nigga. Talking about you ain't your weak ass mama. Both of y'all, you ain't weak ass. You know what's up with me? Put what? Lame man, straight to the internet. But you just in. Yeah, I'm talking about you don't want no smoke. But you don't get your goof so You know what's up. Walk a flop. Not one more time that I come on that show talking about I want some more money back. That nigga, you know I already came in the game. We pay for it. You need to rap for money. Yeah, man, quit playing with me, man. Y'all give me out of character, man. You a whole in a half, bro. You know it, bro. You used to be a bad boy. Come on, man. Come on, man. You want no hit, man. You was a hype, man. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That man said he came in the game with money. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that was a clap back right there. Okay. That was a clap back. And, and this was, what's mm -hmm. his name? OJ, the juice man. An artist with Debbie. Yeah, he was, and he left, he left, you know, Miss Zay Entertainment. That's, you know, the name of... Debs, uh, oh, he was so serious. He he was dead ass. You can see it on his he face. Was, yes, he wasn't playing. He wasn't playing no motherfucking games with it. And Walker, I'm gonna just go on and say this. All right, baby. Uh, you you might want to go on over there in the corner somewhere and find you something to do. Mm -hmm. And I know that's your mama, but it's just some things you can't. You you can't you just slow your road. Know who to play with and who not to play with. I'm just saying. You know, I don't want to see nobody get into no trouble, but 
that right there, boy, you ought to leave that situation alone. Because mm -hmm. I've heard over the years of, about, you know, about old Walker. He, he, he just, he, he wasn't that gangster that uh, the real gangsters are. What you doing about Walker? If the, don't worry about all that. Now you're too far all in sister such okay, and such as business. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, the streets don't lie. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. The streets don't lie. And okay. word has been on the street for years that Walker was a little spark, not necessarily a flame. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Child, sister, such and such been around, and I didn't, I didn't heard a lot of stuff just be going down. But he might want to leave this shit here alone. Spill the tea. Well, from what I heard, he ain't got no go. He ain't got no go. He ain't trying to square up. He ain't trying to box up. Yeah. So he just friends. Well, I guess if that's the term you want to use, some you know that fake it till you make it shit ain't gonna work. Right. That don't always work when you. When you fucking what real gangsters. Don't do no head hunting. Don't no just go on and buy out of that bullshit gracefully and be done with it. Right. Know your role. Know your lane. Play in your lane. Stay in your lane. Boy, get back up there on that porch and set your ass down. If you know you ain't about that life, stay out of it. What that song say? My granddaughter was listening to that shit. Yo ain't about that life, ho. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it is what it is. When you know, when you, you can't do too much talking, you got to know when to shut the hell up and set the hell down. Right. Pick your battles wisely, is all I'm saying, Walker. Yes, ma'am. So, you know, peace be to all y'all and stop playing with them grown folks. Get out of grown folk business. <laughs> all right. So now, what else we got going on? Well. I know you done heard about the city girl. The city young, girl. Yeah. Young Miami and JT. They mm -hmm. supposed to be on live. And mm -hmm. JT from the city girls. Oh, man. Little Uzi. They are publicly in a relationship now. Mm. So, the beef's supposed to be. He's supposed to say something about Young Miami from the city girls. Now, Young Miami baby mamas. Baby daddy, I mean, mm -hmm. Southside, mm -hmm. call him out. Say, quit speaking on his bitch. Stop talking about my hoe. Yeah. Keep my bitch name out your mouth. So he was on live going in on mm. Young Miami. So Young Miami was like, chill, let's talk about this. Call me, bro. I know you don't like me. I don't like you. But well, she like, was she was trying to have a little class with the right. shit. Little like, tact. You could tell she was kind of. I could tell in her face like she wanted to cry or something because he was like, "I don't have to see you. You don't have to see me." What is but that? But I deal? still don't know what was said. Because it's it's that video you was playing earlier, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am. But he really didn't get to no damn point, though. That's that's my that's my issue with that shit, JT though. JT wouldn't let him. It's something going on. Because he was like, I run this. Whatever I say goes. Mm -hmm. So he was referring to JT, too. Is he trying to split up the group? Hmm. That could be. He might be. Hell, who knows what the hell people be thinking. Maybe... Because it can be a situation when you get off into these relationships. Sometimes these guys want y'all to themselves. They don't even want you to have no, you know, business dealings and things of that nature. So it could be that. Well, JT did you think I'm wrong because y'all Miami held her down for like a year and a half, two years when she was in prison for scamming and... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, so she just got out of prison like the end of last year before the holidays. Well, let's just hope it ain't no sneaky shit going on with that. Right, like, he's doing this trying to be right, sneaky. And, right, right, right. Because I love the city girls. And play the field. Right. Shit. That's interesting. We're going to have to do we gonna have to do some digging on that one. Because I want to know what the issue was. Because yeah. 
that one, that video sounded real. It just brought a whole bunch of more questions for me. Yes, Why is you on live acting an ass for one? And not really just putting out there what was said or whatever, but mm-hmm. we're gonna have to we're gonna have to watch and see what comes from that. What? Yes. Because something is going to come out about that. I'm telling you, some, it's some dirty, underhanded, sneaky, filthy, nasty shit going on with that. Right. I just hope not, though. I hope not, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Right. It is. Yes. Now, continuing our shit show Friday. Now, for those of y'all who like watching that Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, I know there's so many of them damn things and different ones, but... This particular one, this one was kind of interesting to me, so I wanted to touch bases on this one. Now, Real Housewives, Jen Shaw. Jen Shaw. I don't know, she might be going to be one of your favorites, so you might not even know who the hell she is. Anywho, she's in hot water. She pled not guilty today to conspiracy to commit wire fraud with telemarketing. And conspiracy to commit money laundering. What? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's some of that white collar crime shit right there. Yeah. That's that high profile shit right okay. there. Now, with this, it's interesting because she went to court on today, as a matter of fact. She went to court to, today. And, well, her initial hearing was postponed. And trip out why it was postponed. Now, it was a court hearing via Zoom. But, because too many people dialed into that Wednesday's virtual arraignment, mm-hmm. shut the shit down. I wonder why. I guess too many people was interested in it, stressed out the system. Who the fuck knows? Wow. Mm-hmm. But they want to, um, the Fed prosecutors wants to impose a million dollar recognizance bond for Shaw. And so to get that, she got to put down like 250000 in cash or property. And she would need a signature from two people who was responsible. I'm not putting up that kind of money for nobody. Right. I ain't spent to do it. If I can't buy me what I want, I'm not doing that to get nobody out they mess. Okay. But anywho, with all of this going on, it makes you wonder, well, is she going to get to keep her job? I doubt it, Amy. Why the hell would you want to do anything that's going to fuck up your job? Right. I don't understand that. But she did. So now it's up in the air. It's unclear. So, if this is one of your favorites on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, your girl is in hot water. And it is unclear as to her spot on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Now, when Mo develop about this here, I'm going to have to bring this to y'all attention. Speaking of the housewives, Mm -hmm. I know you done heard of the Real Housewives of of Orange County, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. The Real Housewife of Orange County, OG Vicky, was dropped by Bravo Network. Somebody else done lost their damn job. Yes. From the new Housewife spinoff after Radio Salad. Hey. Radio Salad. Yes. Radio it sounds like a show, a podcast or something. I wonder if she done went on one of them shows and done said the wrong thing. And I don't know, but um, the OG took the Instagram last week that she signed her contract with both parties back in February 2020, mm-hmm. right before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And then, all of a sudden, she just heard crickets. So, I don't know. They, they don't want her ass. They don't want her. 14 seasons, right? Ain't that four, 14 seasons is 14 years. Vicky has been on the show for since 2006 after 14 seasons. That's 14 years right there. Yes. 
They don't want. They don't want to deal with our ass no more. They tired. They want somebody new, young, hot, yeah, fresh. Need some hot news. Hot topics. But that's just another. That's just another example of doing too damn much. It's time to go, baby. You, you, you had it made. I hope she saved some money somewhere here and there. You know what the old folks used to call mattress money. And you know that throat is. She have two kids, so. How you gonna take care of them children, girl? You been on there 14 years. Well, hopefully she done did made some investments or something, because if not, that's gonna be a shitty situation financially. I hope she wasn't dumb. I hope not. That's what we need more folks that's got common sense to get rich. It's almost like a lot of people get rich and lose their damn mind. Yeah. They act like they ain't never had nothing before, and that's what lands them in trouble. Right, bankruptcy and things. The law, court, the IRS. Right. Man, gotta watch what you're doing out there, but especially you celebrities, cause y'all gotta be careful, cause somebody gonna see something, somebody, cause somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who done seen or knows something about what you done done, and they gonna put it out there. They just gonna put it out there, and once it's out there, it's out there. You can't take that shit back. You can try to do damage control. Yeah. But it's always a shit show because it's always something popping off. Always. It just don't stop. Because somebody's going to fuck up somewhere and it's going to get told. It's going to be either on video or they're going to tweet or Instagram or Facebook. What, whatever. There's so many out there that you can just, just go and just diarrhea at the mouth from your soul. Right. Because a lot of them end up doing that instead of holding their peace and letting somebody act their ass by their damn self. Because there wouldn't be no argument if the person was doing it by themselves. Right. But then they look at, okay, what my people's going to say if I don't say something back? Fuck them people's. Because in the end, whatever happens, them people ain't going to suffer at all. It's you. Right. Mm-hmm. That's just my thought on these, on the shit show Friday with all these celebrities. Y'all get this money. Invest it. Take care of your children. Handle your business and let all this damn foolishness going on by you. And let that be that. What you think, yo-yo? Yes, let it be that. Get your money. Mind your business. Stay in your lane. What would you What would you do if you got rich? Girl, I got so much plans, so much goals. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be sick. We're going to be sad. Does that mean I get to have a private stripper and things like that? Yeah, whatever you want, girl. <laughs> oh, I could have my own. I'd have to discuss that with brother such and such first to make sure it's all right. Okay. And don't be laughing at me out there. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> You're supposed to be on the same page with your partner, your spouse. Right. Keep it one thou out. You heard it, lady. Mm-hmm. Well, we about at the end, huh? But before we go, I wanna I wanna recognize and highlight a couple of businesses. Yo, if you got any you wanna do, we can you you can throw them on in there. They done done so good. They deserve some recognition. Oh yes, I have um one particular black owned it from Sabine Parish, Manny, Louisiana. Her name is Crystal Palmer. Her, she have an online beauty called Classy K. If you haven't heard, check her out on Facebook, Instagram. It is called Classy K. You can shop online. She have pretty clothes, plus size clothes, jewelry, anything that you would like. She's been in the business for a few years now. So check out. She's popping everywhere. Classy K. All right, shout out to Classic K coming out of Man in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Now I got one over here I want to highlight. Now this is a good friend of mine and of the family, and she's been around the family forever. She's like a sister. Her name is Danica Grace. On Facebook, she goes by Nikki Merritt. Mm-hmm. Now she has Divine Credit Repair Service. So if your credit looking a little shysta, you want to make it a little bit more presentable, y'all hit up Danica Grace over at Divine Credit Repair Service. The phone number is 214-845-0583. 
Again, that is Danica Grace with Divine Credit Repair Service. That telephone number again is 214-845-0583. And tell her, Tony on one sent you. On Facebook, her name is Nika Merritt. Mm-hmm. Go and get your credit straightened out. It's, it's time. We're going to stop procrastinating and get our credit scores yes. together. Ain't that right? Yes, get credit. Mm-hmm. Now, while I'm sitting here going through this, I want to give a shout-out to a business. Sizzling Sarah's Selections. That's a lot of S's, ain't it, y'all? But her products is off the chain. I just ordered me uh, a little while ago some some jurors. Mm-hmm. Order me some jurors. Y'all find her over on Facebook. Sizzling Sarah's Selections. And she also does that, uh, what is that drink? That drink the shrink. Mm-hmm. So y'all look her up. I need some that girl. Mm-hmm. She's on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Sarah Henry Wallace. Shout out to you, girl. Much love and respect to you. And if you're over, let's switch gears a little bit. Hoover's Promotions. If you're into music, I know this, this young fella. He's good at what he do. He's a promoter, and he, go, and he goes by Hoover Promotions. So look him up. He's out there on Facebook. Tell him, Tony on one sent you. You're trying to get your record off the ground. You're trying to get some promotion done. Summertime is coming up. You want to get it, get your shit out there and let it be heard. Well, if you're into music and you need a promoter, look up Hoover Promotions. He's on Facebook. Tell him, Tony on one sent you. Mm-hmm. Now, for the rest of y'all... Y'all be good. Don't get into no trouble. No trouble. Have a great weekend and happy Easter to everybody. Happy Easter and a happy Good Friday. Because you know they all out there trying to go get ready for Easter. Yes, they can turn up. Y'all be safe out there. And don't let it just be Easter when you take your ass to church. I'm just saying. <laughs> You know right, us people though. out there that do right, that shit. Right. That's the one day of the damn year besides Christmas that they want to go to church. Hey. But you know what? I, I no judgment. <laughs> if that's what you do, you want to go for the Easter parade because that's pretty much what that is. Right. That's the Easter parade to see what on what everybody else got on and whatnot. Okay. But y'all get a get a lot some time on a serious tip, not just Easter. Y'all be good, and I'll see y'all next time. You've been listening to Sister Talk with Sister Such and Such and my niece up in here. Yo, yo. Y'all, y'all check me out on my YouTube. Let's talk to yo. It's coming soon, so check it out. Yes, baby, yes. And happy Friday. And don't wake up Monday morning behind no damn jail cell. (laughs) Right. You have been listening on On One Radio, the talk show podcast station, bringing your sister talk. It's truth and comedy. I have been your host, sister such and such. And remember, y'all, if it looks and acts like a duck, then it's a fucking duck. So thank you for taking the time to listen. And if you if you just need a little bit more, you're looking for more, you'll find it on YouTube. The name is Tony on One. On One Radio, it's on Facebook. You'll find it there. And it's available on most of your favorite podcasts, apps, and sites, and devices.